Good morning, everybody. Back in the truck, had a couple of days off at home. It was great. Had some good barbecue, had some good time with family. It's time to get back to work now. I have a load behind me that I picked up on Friday. I have to deliver it today into Minnesota. I'm gonna go deliver it to Brainerd, Minnesota, and from there I go down to Iowa. I have a load waiting down there for me I gotta pick up tomorrow. I believe that load's gonna take me to Saskatchewan. And then from there we'll figure it out as we go. So let's get going, this load isn't gonna deliver itself. area in Minnesota on Highway 2 uh, close to Crookston I believe that's what the town is called just stop for a quick stop stretch my legs making pretty good time today I'm on schedule I'm actually early so I should have no problem getting uh, unloaded my information on my next load came through on my computer here is another reason I stopped I wanted to check that out Get all the details here, all the deets. Picking up in Burlington, Iowa, and delivering to Langbank, Saskatchewan, ASAP. Okay, so let's find out where, uh, what time did I say it was again? Burlington. There's a lot of Burlingtons around, isn't there? One sec. Like Burlington, Iowa, isn't there like a Burlington, like another Burlington somewhere? I've, I feel like I've heard that name somewhere and it wasn't in Iowa. Burlington, Iowa. Okay. So I'm going to be in Brainerd. I'll say, I'm just asking Google here, from Brainerd, Minnesota to Burlington, Iowa, I won't be walking. No, I'll be driving about seven and a half hours. 811 kilometers, so it'll be about eight to nine hours going through Minneapolis. So depending on how traffic is there, it might be longer yet. Okay, so we want to get as far as we can today. Burlington is on the southeast corner of Iowa, of the state, right by the border of Illinois, like right on the border. Uh, south of Cedar Rapids and Davenport. And then from Burlington, my trip up to Langbank will be Langbank, Saskatchewan. It will be 1,662 kilometers or approximately 1,000 miles. Okay. And then we'll see what we got after that. So let's get back out there. I want to get this trailer unloaded so that I can get as close as I can. I won't make it all the way to Burlington uh, today. I'd like to get down to like, what was it, Cedar Rapids? South of Minneapolis for sure, for sure. I'd like to get down close to Cedar Rapids, Waterloo area, maybe Iowa City. We'll see how, how far down there we get today and then uh, we'll stop for the night and we'll do the rest tomorrow. Minnesota 
emptied my trailer in Brainerd. I'm on my way down to Burlington now. What are we doing here? I want out. Some people are already chirping at this pilot. <laughs> Unless somebody's not moving. So this is the cheapest juice. What are juice. we doing? Alright, turn that off for now. It's the cheapest juice around here, but the parking lot is always chaos. Hopefully I won't have to wait too long. Pick our favorite island here and hopefully they're not doing their half hour break. means that uh, oh is this guy moving here usually if they don't even have the pumps like going into their tanks on their truck that means they're probably inside wasting time but I think this guy to my left is gonna be leaving right away so I'm going to adjust my position here just a little bit and if he moves I'm taking it he just turned his lights on so I feel like he might be moving. Nice. Nice. Didn't even have to wait too long. Hopefully he doesn't park right in front of the pump here for another half hour. I'm sure it'll be okay. Right on. So this is, like I said, cheapest juice around. I don't know why, but St. Cloud, Minnesota always has the cheapest fuel by quite a bit. Like the price here diesel fuel looks like it's about 345 or 346 a gallon and everywhere else around here is close to 390 a gallon There, he pulled in right behind me. <laughs> what are the chances, right? That's usually how we meet up. She says, Hey, look at you, look at that. We're in the same place at the same time, like a thousand miles from home. <laughs> he was right behind me when we were leaving. I was trying to say bye to him on the CB there, but I guess he didn't have his radio on. Tisk tisk, or maybe mine's not working properly. I don't know, oh, mine's working. Mine's working. Oh, boy, Dad didn't have his radio on. Uh-oh. Gonna have to buck him about that one. Continue on this road for 73 kilometers. We made it to the Petro in Albert Lee, Minnesota. I was so tired. I was straight to bed. We're going to continue this vlog today a little bit. 
It was a long day. I used up almost every single minute. I got here and there was two minutes left on my clock. <laughs> I just barely made it. And thank goodness there was a spot open for me out in the back here. Uh, so we're gonna continue on. We're gonna pick up our load, then we'll start tomorrow's vlog from there. Uh, it's about another four and a half hour drive down to where we need to pick up and I need to get there as soon as possible so there's no time to waste. I'm going to do my pre-trip. I'm going to get this truck ready to go and let's get out on the highway. You know, I bought this not too long ago. It broke, but it still works. I'm not walking through there. That looks like Tick City in there. So many options, I got confused. Don't you just love it? There's too many options. So, so often you get in there and there's just one off, one option, and, it, and it's bad coffee. Now you have a whole host of hopefully good coffees, and hopefully not a whole lineup of bad coffees. I, I'm not too familiar with Petro TA coffees, but it's a pretty big truck stop chain here in the United States, so I'm pretty sure that they must have mastered their, their coffee selection by now. I don't stop here as often, but these truck stops are amazing. I probably should stop at these more often. I, I usually tend towards uh, you know the Flying J Pilots because they're also in Canada. So it's easy for me to collect points and get free showers on both sides of the border if I just stick with that company. Uh, TA, there's only, is there still one in Ontario? I haven't seen it in a while, did they close down? There used to only be one in Canada, it was way out in Eastern Canada, far away from me, like 1,500 miles away from me. That was the only one across the entire country. Oh well. Okay, let's get out there on the road, I want to deliver these tires, and then uh, after that we'll start tomorrow's video. So we're going to split the little bit of yesterday, a little bit of today into one video. Mondays, you know, they're always hard to get going, I'm a little bit tired, but worth it. Worth it. I picked up a few friends on my windshield yesterday and I haven't had time to squeegee them off yet. No time last night, had to go to bed and today we're in a rush to get our delivery done. Or I mean, pardon me, our delivery picked up. Shipping, whatever, you know what I mean. Let's get out there, I haven't had my coffee yet. Trailer is attached, it's gonna come with us all day. It's good, it's a good sign.
Looks like we're getting some rain now. Anyway, that'll clean off my windshield. So I have an empty step deck behind me. You saw it yesterday, right? Uh, Tri-axle, 53-foot aluminum trailer. I'm going to put some farm tires on it. Someone in Saskatchewan wants some farm tires. Well, they do have a truck wash here. Oh, awesome. Yeah, TA has like this truck service here. Now they got the truck wash. So you can get truck service to get it washed. They always have massive parking lots. Massive. It's like a mall, a trucker mall in there. It's amazing. I really do like these truck stops. I wish that they had some locations in Canada, but uh, it's, they have their reasons, I'm sure. Maybe they don't like us Canucks up north, you know? Maybe they don't like us. That's okay, we can't please everybody. If everybody in your life that you meet likes you, ah, there's something wrong. Right? <laughs> or maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. I try to, I try to make everybody happy. I try to be friendly and kind to everybody, but it seems like some people on the internet just don't like me anyway. I don't know. Well, I never did anything to them. Not on purpose, anyway. And don't like me. That's okay. Because you like me, right? I have friends.
got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve tires. You know, when uh, when I, I drive the route that I'm going to be driving now, going up through North Portal, up Highway 52 in North Dakota, into uh, Saskatchewan through Weyburn, uh, there's a lot of giant, giant dump truck tires, like those big, big dump trucks. The tires are massive. They don't even fit on the, on the deck. They're always wide loads, right? I always see them going back and forth because Alberta is awesome. And uh, they got a lot going on and they have these big dump trucks rolling around everywhere, right? So they need all these tires all the time. You always see these trucks with tires going up and, up and down that road. I wonder how much those tires cost. I bet you for a load of those tires, you could buy a house. Even in today's climate and market. Speaking of house, on the housing front, we are uh, we're still saving up. To be honest, we're ready to move. Like we're ready to get a bigger house already. But I want to do it smart. I want to make sure that uh, we can get our mortgage payments down low and still get the ho house that we want. So we'll, we'll wait a little while, a couple of years or something. Oh, there's mosquitoes here. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go, everybody. We're going to end the vlog right here. We're going to start from exactly this exact same spot. So please tune in tomorrow. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. We might actually start from a different spot tomorrow. We'll see. We're at, uh, that's a big sign. The U.S. puts such big signs at the truck stops. I love it. I wish we'd do this in Canada. You can never see the signs anywhere. The come and go. That's what they decided to call their business. Oh, you guys got a mosquito bug on you. Sorry. We'll see you tomorrow.